Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to all of you in our online classroom and by Samsul Akhani School and College English version. I'm your science teacher, Mohammed Ibn Jahmed. Well, today in this class, we are going to talk about the chapter 5. The name of this chapter is Soil, and we are going to talk the rest of the part of this chapter. I know already you have read the first part of this class and you have understood how, what about the soil so let's go and try to learn something new from this topic so I hope you, you all have taken your textbook as you know that whenever I'm going to talk about those pages you must take an, a pen so that you can underline some important sentences that I have marked in my lecture you will make a pause of that page or, or the video and marked marked in your textbook because those important lines are very much important are very much essential for your MCQ fill in the blanks or matching so let's go and start with the page 33 well you can see there are sentence some sentences are marked in a red color so first of all please mark those sentences then listen what I say Well, in this page, we start with soil and crops. Are there any differences between sandy, loamy and clay soil for growing crops? So we will find out that are all the crop, all the soils are same for growing these crops? We know that they are different in their characteristics. So what are the differences of growing the crops among those different uh, soil? We will see about them. First of all, there is a question, which soil is suitable for which crops? That means we are going to learn about their uh, growing the crops and their characteristics. Water is important for growing crops. Plants grow in soil and get water from the soil. In which soil crops grow well? We will learn about them. Before learning them, we need to do an activity, which says water holding capacity. To do this activity, we need to collect sandy soil, loamy soil, and clay soil. You can see in the picture there are three bottles where three kind of a soil is inputted over there. And then we need to see their characteristics with the soil. That means if you look into the, uh, the box, you can see that in the left part of that box it says how fast the water drains. First of all, we will observe in clay soil, then we will observe in sandy soil, then we will observe in loamy soil. And the next observation says how much the water drains in clay soil, in sandy soil, in loamy soil. So, we will do this experiment at home and we will try to do and try to find out what kind of characteristics the clay soil show about the water drains and how much how first it drains the water and how much it drains the water so to know detail about them we need to go to the next page in page 34 it says that first of all we will learn about the clay soil also in this page you can see some important lines were marked in red color try to pause this video and mark all those important lines and then you try to listen what I say about this page well first of all you can see that the particles of clay soil are the smallest and more compact among the three types of soil due to the tiny size of the particles water drains slowly through clay soil thus clay soil can retain water and it is suitable for better plant growth. This soil contains the necessary elements of the plant growth. Legumes and jackfruit grow well in this soil. Well, you can see that the characteristics of clay soil is the particle of this soil is very small among the other two and also it more compact than other two soil. Due to this tiny size of these particles, only a little part of water can drain through that soil that's why it drains the water very slowly 
that's why it can retain the water a huge number of water can be retained by the clay soil if a soil can retain water and a huge number of water that means this soil is suitable for better plant growth and also it contains the necessary elements for the plant growth that means a plant which needs a such a kind of elements which is necessary for their growth they got it from the clay soil and in this picture you can see that the legumes and jackfruit grow well in this soil so from this part we have learned that the clay soil can drain a little amount of water and also it can retain a huge number of water among other two soils so it is the most suitable uh, soil among the others so let's see about the sandy soil sandy soil has the largest size particles among the three types of soil water can pass through sandy soil quickly as well as necessary elements of the soil because these crops don't grow well in this soil this soil is suitable for growing watermelon groundnut small size melon or cucumber well you you can see that among the other two soil the sandy soil has the largest particles due to the largest particles it can uh, pass the water very quickly and it cannot retain the water because water can pass through these uh, particles very easily that's why only a small amount of water can be retained by the sandy soil that's why crops don't grow well in this soil but some of the uh, crops can grow well in this kind of soil like the watermelon like the groundnut or a small size of melon or cucumber these all are the suitable crops for the sandy soil so what we have learned here the sandy soil has the largest uh, size of particles that's why the water can drain through this uh, soil very easily and very quickly and also for this it cannot retain water like the clay soil that's why it's not a suitable water uh, suitable soil for the better crops next we have loamy soil loamy soil is a mixture of sand clay and humus due to the properties of sand and clay it has a tight hold on water and soil elements but it drains well paddy wet maize barley jute or sugarcane etc grow well in this soil most of the areas in bangladesh are made of loamy soil well as you have seen that loamy soil has a mixed elements in its soil part that's why the properties of this soil is like sometimes sand and clay that's why that's why it has a tight hold on water and also it can drain the water very well that's why the peri why wheat maize barley jute or sugar can grow well in this, this kind of soil and the most interesting part is that the most of the areas of bangladesh is mixed with the loamy soil that's why it's the popular part of our country and as you know we are an agricultural country a huge number of crops grow in our soil that's why loamy soil is one of the best soil to produce the crops so we have seen that the clay soil is different and the sandy soil is different than the loamy soil because it is the mixture of sandy soil and clay soil including the humus so it can hold the water and also it can drain the water very well this is how we can get a number of uh, crops from this kind of soil well that was all for this chapter so let's see what we have learned from this chapter as you can see that from the first activity it shows that the water drain characteristics of different kind of soil from that we have learned that the clay soil can drain uh, uh, due to the tiny size of the clay soil it cannot drain water uh, successfully 
that's why it retains a huge number of water in its soil so it is good for the crops then we have seen the uh, sandy soils uh, particle size is quite big, huge that's why the water can drain through that soil very easily and it cannot retain the water so it is not it was not a comfortable uh, soil for the crops and also we have seen that the clay uh, the loamy soil is a mix of clay soil and sandy soil that's why it can uh, drain the water and also it can hold the water very well that's why a huge number of crops can grow well in this soil and we have seen different kind of soil grows in this kind of different soil whenever you can see that the legumes and jackfruit grow well in the loamy soil so it will not be it will not grow well in the sandy soil or into the uh, sorry i've said uh, wrong the legumes and the <coughs> jackfruit grows well into the clay soil which will not be which will not uh, perf uh, grow well into the uh, sandy soil or into the loamy soil then we have seen then like uh, the watermelon I like the cucumber or groundnut it grows well in the uh, sandy soil but they will not grow well into the clay soil or loamy soil then we have seen that the paddy the weight the maize the barley the sugar can they all grow well into the loamy soil but they will not grow well in the sandy soil and the clay soil so these were the differences between the different kind of soil it is that <clears throat> due to their different characteristics we have seen a different kind of crops grow well in the different kind of soil so that was all for today my dear students i hope you have understood what i tried to say first of all uh, you need to underline those important lines then you if you have any problem you can watch this video for several times then after you have to understand what kind of question it may comes from this inside that chapter you need to find out that and if you have any kind of problems you are feel free to contact as below in my number but one thing remember one thing you have to stay at home and stay safe thank you very much